And so I'm assuming you had a, a PET CT? Yes. And the PET CT showed nothing? <laughs> so, you know, we kind of call this what it's called oligometastatic disease, uh, which is basically a disease that's spread in your body we can't measure. And it's really not a, a limit on the disease itself, it's a limit on us. It's a limit on the technologies that we have available by today's standards, whether it be the Axman PET CT scan or whether it be the PSMA scan. Uh, we have our limits. And so, will one day, will this potentially crop itself up? It might, but what you have as an advantage is you have your PSA velocity that you've been following and monitoring the slope of the curve, which has virtually no slope, which is the gift. Yeah, it's basically a flat line. So that, that is a gift uh, because we look at PSA doubling time as an indication for adjuvant therapies in general. And if your doubling time approaches to six months, we know that we need to intervene with therapy. But if your doubling time is how many years? Uh, or has it even doubled yet? Yeah, right. Four, 14 years you have the gift. And you should be so proud. I would go and have a glass of wine and toast yourself because <laughs> you should too. Because it's also prostate cancer preventative. So. I would celebrate, seriously. That's something to celebrate. But yeah, I, I mean, just a comment. I mean, so, so the question basically was, you have surgery, PSA goes up, you have radiation, PSA doesn't come down or either starts going up after it. You know, one, you know, historically, someone has a detectable PSA after surgery, sort of the classic workup, you would do a CAT scan and a bone scan because prostate cancer, if it's gonna go anywhere uh, outside of the pelvis, it's usually gonna go to a bone. So very sensitive way for looking for bone metastases. And if those tests were negative, they didn't show any evidence of, of clinical cancer that we could find. We would, with radiation, target the prostate bed, maybe some of the pelvic lymph nodes as well. Um, but it's largely a leap of faith. You know that the most likely source of that PSA is the pelvis. But at the same time, we're doing that because we don't have, ev not because we have evidence of a being there, but because we don't have evidence of a being anywhere else. But you don't know that. You can have cancer on a level that is beyond the detection of these tests. Now, in 2019, and we're starting to use these uh, fancier PET scans that are more sensitive and don't just look at the bones. They look at the surgical bed and they look at the lymph nodes and they look at the soft tissues. Um, hopefully, the number of people who go through eight weeks of radiation, and we're aiming here, but the disease is really here, will be fewer and fewer and we'll be able to select patients more appropriately for that treatment.